Oh yeah, right. So, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good whatever time of day it is for you. Good day. It is Thursday, which means it's Space Brain Day, which means it's time to start smashing some work day. Now, you know, lately, mm -hmm. like, like Sarkin, I don't know if you've been uh, watching my streams, but I've been doing <coughs> a lot of Dark Souls lately. So, like, this this is going to be like the only stream this week that I'm where I'm not playing Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. Yes, have you Man. seen the Demon Souls? The trailer for that. No. Well, it's on the P it's gonna be on the PS5. It looks sweet. And I've never beat the Dark Soul game. Like I played the first one, I always rage quit. And I mm -hmm. really want to beat the game because I I wanna play Demon Souls. But I feel like I should beat the first three Dark Souls before I go to Demon Souls. So wait, so Dark Souls and Demon Souls are in the same universe or they're that they... Um Canon Canon wise, no. It's like um, from software, the developers of both games, they made mm -hmm. Demon Souls. That became really popular, so they're like, okay, they're going to make the Dark Soul game, which story-wise is completely separate from Demon Souls. Gameplay-wise, it's the same thing. I just feel <laughs> like you know I don't deserve to go and play the Demon Souls remaster. Until I, because I, I kept trying to play the first Dark Soul game, but I would always rage quit. Rage quit. And like I, I actually started watching some streamers that uh, that would play this game, and I could tell starting off the game, like I have so much more skill than they, not streamers, YouTubers, but they also stream. I have so much more skill, but <laughs> they didn't give up. They got better, and I, I'm actually watching like, and you can see. Like when they just kept get, keep getting their ass kicked over and over and over again, and after so many videos, it's like you could see the progression. Like they got good, and I was of like, course man. they have to get good, man. They're... Yeah, yeah. I'm like, man, these these scrubs, they were able to push through and beat this game that always made me rage quit. I I got I got to I got to toughen up and finish this. I got to do this for myself, for my own pride. Well, well, well I'm probably I, gonna I'm I'm probably gonna do it. I'm gonna probably buy the games and uh. Try and see if I can do it because uh, I I'm kind of those dumbasses that uh, puts in the hardest difficulty and starts out. So I just want to see what happens. <laughs> so if you if you like, um, I got Dark Souls on the 360. It's backwards compatible on the Xbox One. I can lend you that disc, or you can oh. just buy it and then like if you end up buying it on Steam, I think it comes with all the DLC all bundled in. Huh. Yeah, I might do that. But uh, yeah, so and then actually when I when I got to, oh man, on this stream when I got to the very last boss in Dark Souls, and it was like it was near the beginning of the stream for that day. I was like, man, if I beat this guy, I wanted to go straight into Dark Souls two, but I didn't realize I was this far into the, the end game already. So I purchased Dark Souls two on Steam, let it started to download, while I played the game, and I'm like, man, I I hope like this downloads fast so I could play this right after I beat the boss. 40 minutes later. Oh. Like, God damn, this guy just won't die! He keeps killing me over and over and over again. <laughs> Dark Souls 2 finished downloading like 20 minutes ago. I'm still in this boss fight. But eventually I did end up killing him finally. God damn. That was way harder than it should have been. <laughs> no, because like, 
Okay, Dark Souls, it's a lot of cheap deaths, which is just bullshit, but the majority of it is, okay, I screwed up there. I should have done this, or I didn't react fast enough to this. So, okay, that was my fault. But then that 10%, that 10% where the game just feels like bullshit, that's what ma that's makes you rage. <laughs> uh, wow. I probably shouldn't play that game then, because my desk is glass, and I'm afraid I'm am I my fist on it. Break it, and break my whole setup. Oh, hey, I got a glass desk too. But, uh... Now, you, you find something else to slam, to, to, break, to break. Bring a pillow when you're playing. Just beat the pillow. <laughs> yeah, you know, that, that game is very, very rage inducing. Like, it does this. I, I send you an invite, by the way. It does this cool thing where it's like it starts off feeling almost impossible. Like, just about anybody could kill you if you're not careful. And then, like, you learn the mechanics, you learn. I guess the movement and how to get around character uh, enemies so they don't gank you. And you get better. But then you start getting stronger. And now those enemies are getting really, really easy to kill. But then you get complacent. You get sloppy. Those same really easy, easy enemies might end up ganging up on you and wreck the crap out of you. And then it oh. just it humbles you real fast. <laughs> Because you're like, man, I got all this really, really cool armor, this really cool weapon. I have super levels now. And then I'm walking by, by the newbie area. You're not paying attention. Somebody backstabs you. You're on the floor. And then he'll just start kicking you while you're down. It's like, god damn. Th this is my fault. Yeah. See, that's, that's one cool thing about the game. Huh. I'm going to get it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get it. But I'm going to get it, like, maybe during... When there's a steam cell or something. I, I, the first one should be pretty cheap. And just so you know, like there is like mechanical wise, there's a big difference between Dark Souls one and Dark Souls two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like one of the things I really raged at with Dark Souls the first one is uh, the combat is not tight. Like you get you can feel the age behind it. The combat just doesn't feel that tight because it likes to cue your actions. So that's something you got to be careful with. So, what I mean is, your character actions is kind of slow. And if you're uh, one of those kind of people that kind of like panics and keeps smashing the button to attack or dodge, like you hit the dodge one like five times trying to get yourself to dodge, it will queue up multiple dodges. Oh. So, like you dodge and then you're like, you want to do something else, but the game's like, no, no, no. You want us to dodge again. You can't cancel out of it. Oh, that's... Okay. So you gotta be careful. You gotta be very meticulous with every single one of your actions, including attack. Like there's times where I'm like, no, I don't want to attack. I want to dodge. But the game's like, nope. You press the attack button like five seconds ago, and we're gonna do it. So you basically, you basically have, you have to be patient. Almost like almost like a real life combat that you have to be your patient. Yeah, like don't don't. Panic smash the buttons. Dark Souls 2 is more forgiving than that. Like, it doesn't queue up your attacks as badly as the first one. And uh, story wise, it's like, okay, you're not gonna get the story playing the game unless. Okay, I don't understand how people figured out the story of this game. Because it doesn't really tell you a story. Not like in a. Like, you see it unfold before you kind of like. Uh -huh. It's more like you gotta read descriptions behind all the items. You need to really look throughout all the levels and find like little hidden clues as to what might happen in the past. And like, it's a mystery most of the time. The only reason I know the story is because I looked up YouTube videos on other people that figured it out. Well, what's the, what's the point in that then? Like some people like, you know, deducing the mystery behind it. But if you're playing Dark Souls, you're not playing it for the story. If you want the story, look up YouTube videos. Oh. And I'm gonna have to do that now because now... Yeah, I need a story behind it. Yeah, like that's, one like, of the a... that's one of the reasons I stopped playing the first time. Because I didn't feel like my character had a purpose for doing anything. It's like, okay, I'm wandering around this area. I'm fighting random bosses and I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, my character has no motivation for it. I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem for me because I'm more story driven. 
Yeah, so definitely look up the sto uh, videos on the story behind it. Yes, it's actually really, really intriguing. And like after I, I looked at the videos, I started spotting things in the game. It's like, oh, okay, so this is supposed to reference this thing. Or this character like is talking about this ancient thing that happened so many years ago. And in Dark Souls 2, it's like, okay, I'm gonna... Here's a... Here's a bit of a spoiler for the story in Dark Souls. It's, I don't know how much of a spoiler because you've probably heard the references before, but it's all about lighting the, the first flame, right? Because everybody's first going flame. hollow. Essentially, the world is going to an age of darkness. It was uh -huh. in, a, in an age of uh, light, but the first flame, which is what kept everything in the light, is starting to fade away. So somebody needs to reignite it. But you need to reunite it with a powerful soul. So your character is essentially just trying to become powerful, gathering all these souls, and you're going to light the last flame. And that kind of resets the fire, brings the world back to an age of light, but it's not going to last. Mm. After a few centuries, maybe a millennia, it's going to start fading again, and then it has to be done all over again. That's the entire point of Dark Souls. Like you, you're essentially uh -huh. you're essentially trying to delay the inevitable. Like darkness is going to fall eventually, and you're trying to push it off. Interesting. And uh, that's the main theme on. There's like a lot of stories in between. Like, okay, the second game, Dark Souls Two, is supposed to take place after Dark Souls One. How long after? I have no idea. I don't know if it's a century. A, a thousand years, several thousand years. I don't know if this is on the same continent. It's pretty vague, but again, you're trying to light the soul. Or, or light the flame. But the characters you run into and their histories behind each character is completely different than the first. <clears throat> and it's kind of, actually kind of tragic. Like, I actually looked up the story. It's kind of tragic what happened to uh, a lot of the characters. Like. Don't expect a happy story of any character, by the way. From Software has a big heart on for depressing stories. Uh huh. And it's never a happy ending to anything. So, yeah, like, the lore behind it is actually really cool. Just trying to figure out the lore is a puzzle. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem for me. I guess I can't. If, if the story, uh. It, Cover your I eyes. Mean... Sorry, we're in the entire you. match and I haven't done that yet. Sorry, go on. Is Slenderface telling me how to play this game? I swear, like, he's like, well, press R if you want to, uh, go into stationary mode. I don't want to be in stationary mode. Wait, wait, who's Slenderface? One of the people we're playing with. Oh wait, I didn't even see the chat. How do you even bring up chat? I never actually used chat in this game. It just appeared on the screen. Okay, I don't know what he pressed. Um, yeah, I guess he ignored the fact that you're level 39 and thinks you need to help. It's like, kid, I've been playing this game. The kid is level what? six. Slender like, face I, one, I, two, three, YouTube. Gee, I wonder what he, he wants to be when he grows up. It's like I've been playing this game since it came, since before I came out officially. Back off! We were the OG testers, man. Man, what is the, what happened to the frame rate on these orcs? I don't know. I mean, they were all like this. Like, they were skipping so many frames trying to run up here. I don't know if you saw that. No. Ah! Uh, I blame Slenderface. Yeah, blame him too. Sun the face, cover your eyes. I saved your life, trust me. You can't see it, but it's saved. Gotta admit, having this Xbox One controller as the controller feels a lot comfortable than the 360. 
Oh yeah. It's like, I, I think they never have to park with the Xbox One controller. Like I know some people, specifically one person, would think that the PlayStation controller is the best. I think Xbox One controller by far the best. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm talking about, McBeast. Uh -huh. Yeah. But uh, he's a fanboy, so that's what I expect from him. I wonder how many times he nutted when the PS5 came out when it was announced. Probably at every syllable. Thank you for grouping up like that, guys. It's a memo, whatever you need. Nah, I'm good. Ooh, ah. Yeah, take all the fun, man. <laughs> oh, you, said, you said you were fine in ammo. But I said I was fine in ammo. Oh. I like 300 cent. Oh, fine. Go. Hey, when you Fine. get the plasma cannon, you can't. You, you got to do that when you see a group of enemies with the plasma cannon. Space Marine it's the law. It's the law. I mean, let's face it. In later, later arenas, this plasma cannon becomes so inefficient. This is the only time I actually use it like that. What's in his orb? Is he trying to point at us? No, his arm's bent backwards. That is a weird way to die. Yep. Kinda leaning on the on the rails there, but not quite. Easy peasy. Only one that died was Slender Face. Tell me what to do. Hey, level 39 guy. Do you know what the controls are? I don't think you do. I'm level 6. I'm a pro at this. I died. Right now, did you see the chat right now? Hey, yeah, you seen that? Art to shoot faster but cannot move. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Where is he? I'm gonna blind him. Right here. He's right here next to me. What? Wow. Dumbass. Let's see if he says anything about that. Cover your eyes. You know what? You suck about it. I'm, I'm right. <laughs> it's not my fault you're right behind him. Look at that. Oh, and he got it done, and he had the least amount of kills. Trying to tell us how to play. Freaking noob. Don't tell me what to do. You know, since Caramel, like, oh, Caramel said he's not going to be able to make it because, uh,. I will just completely forgot and I forgot to do something in my D live thing. Okay, there. But I told Cameron I was gonna like if we don't win this, I'm gonna blame everything on her. But no, I'm gonna let her off the hook. Slender face is our new target. Yeah, it's all his fault. Yep. Damn, Slender face, don't get in the way of my camera. Yeah, I know you're behind me, so I might put it back up with you. It's still your fault. How do you freaking chat? How do you chat? I don't have to chat. <laughs> How do you chat? What button you press? Press Y. Something in the face. Cover your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know there's no horse over there, but I, I couldn't help it. Oh, 
You know what? I'm just gonna let him shoot his wad. I'm, I really am gonna shoot. Let him shoot his wad. I swear. Like. Yeah, I forget. Is this the one with the metal thing? Or really? That... Going upstairs. Right. Yeah, I normally go up. I just want to stay down here just so I can get a better angle to a blind slender face. Man, I can't really hit anything from down here. There we go. Some targets for me. Oh, thank Buster. Just rest. I'm gonna take all this out. Fuck him. Cover your eyes. <laughs> I'm just bullying. <laughs> There's a reason why I don't go into sentry mode. It's fucking useless. Yeah, you, yeah you, I mean, it does a great amount of damage, but <laughs> you, just you, need, you, need, you need mobility. You, you need, need to have just mobility. Stop it's like, you just gotta stop blasting me with fucking flash grenades. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, this guy just made this game so much better. Oh, that sounds like a challenge to me. Sounds like somebody wants to get blasted with flash grenades. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay, I just need to get... Okay, I got one flash grenade. I want to get one more before I blind him again. Sample down here if you need it. Nah, I got it. Okay. I got it, I'm cool. I told you that I'm gonna fucking take every single album that's with, near him and just fuck with him. I swear. Don't tell me what to fucking play, dude. I've been playing this game before I even knew this game existed. Yeah, tell him, Star King. He's probably watching the stream right now. If you're watching this, man, I know secrets about this game that you don't. Fucking get triggered over here. Never tell him how to play a game. Especially when you don't know anything about the game. Fuck. Oh wait. Uh, <laughs> I see a grenade over here. Do it. Do it. Do it. Hey guys. Cover your eyes. I had to, this is the only <laughs> time I'll let you do it. <laughs> oh, thanks for the grenade. <laughs> Slow in the face, cover your eyes! I saved your life, <laughs> like, or some over you. Oh, got another grenade. <laughs> oh, this is great. Go upstairs. Xenos destroyed. Alright. Is this the one with the squigs, or is that. No, squigs are. No, after still, there's one. still one more round, yeah, after this one. Yeah. This is where we get the knobs and all that shit. Oh, knobs are gonna be a pain. <laughs> oh yeah, they're harder in this level than usual. Because <laughs> we get like a whole bunch of shooter ones in this one. Oh yeah. What? What? Yeah, like if he's still talking, like I keep missing the chat. <laughs> like, I just don't look at that in, in that corner of the screen. Like... Hey, thank you for the lemon donation. Amazing music. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. I hope you're having a great night. Okay, where's Slenderface? I got a grenade for him. Cover your eyes, Slender Face! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me not to blind you. It's what saves our lives! Oh, speaking of, I gotta run. That Scar Boy's on me. Oh, who died? Who met uh -oh. their end? Not me, but it's almost gonna be me. 
Run, go, go, I got your back! Cover fire! Cover my eyes! Okay, I had to do that to stun the uh, Scar Boys. And I got some more grenades. Wait, does Slender Face leave the game? Is he still here? Oh, no, he's huh? still here. Okay, I didn't see him for a, a second. I thought he left. Hmm. Normally, next round I'll go tactical, but I don't know if I have any tactical builds after blind grenades. Oh, got him behind me. Hooah! See? I don't need go I don't need to go into sentry mode to fucking kill stuff. Oh man, you got the heavy bolter. Cover your eyes! <laughs> Going to sentry mode is for well, I don't know if I should say that word. It's for people that like to sit down and not move. Ooh, own. For nukes! Hey, there you go. Like Slenderface. Something you want to Did he die again? No, wait, I think that was actually the the guy playing Assault. Ah. Hmm, I wonder if Slenderface is actually on that uh, one Space Marine Discord I ended up joining. Because I never really talk on there. But I'm always constantly getting pings from people trying to get Exterminatus groups going. I mean, it's, it's fairly active, but like a lot of people are constantly trying to get our Exterminatus game going. Mm -hmm. I was actually surprised at how active, like, it is for this game. It looks like what? How old is this game? Ten years old now? Uh... Ten years old? Wait, I think it's 12, right? It came out in 2008? No, we were in the office in 2011. I was in the office before button. that. But this game was in the office when I was in there in 2011. Okay, 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 I was in the office before 20. Okay, I forgot. I was in THQ way before you got there. Yes, you were. Okay, so yeah, so it's like 9 or 10 years old. Quick count! We're going around. Up in the face. Guess what I got two of? Nope, blind grenade. Cover your eyes. Level 4 containment breach. I got, I got, I got nothing. To, I got no excuse for that one. Ron didn't even start yet. Corners! How did I not hit you? Corners! Go to the corners! Oh my god, really? Oh, you're in Devastator armor, so you should be fine. Assault armor, you get wrecked by those guys. Oh, I know. Which is probably why Agent Lou is staying up on the pipes where he can't be reached. And I need to get some ammo. I'm almost halfway out. Oh, see ammo down there. Oh, it disappeared. I'm a super duck down here. They're, 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 they're falling on top of my head. That one landed right on top of my head and popped. And at least one of them just dropped some ammo. Get away from me! Get away from me! Keep! Get away from me! <laughs> Where you start? I'm coming! Oh, damn it! Three of them! You're on your own, Stark! 
Okay, they pop. Hmm. So I have one more blind grenade out. Don't see Slenderface. Oh, where's Slenderface? Releasing safeguard. He didn't leave. We still have a full roster. There you go. Cover your eyes. <laughs> You should just end up killing yourself with that grenade slender face. Don't be a noob. Look! I went second place without even having to go sentry mode! Oh, and who's in last place? Slender face. Oh, wait, I do have a tactical with blind grenades. Oh, he went tactical. Look at that, he went tactical. Primary do so we put in chat like press A to dodge? Well, what? <laughs> do it! Do it! <laughs> Fuck, I'll do it. And stab you all to death. Oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, better stay quiet, Star King. Man. We're gonna just start. Not off to a good start. We're playing caramel. Oh, I, I was, I was, see, I did that because I, I, I was, you know, trying oh, to oh, you're typing? mess with someone. Yeah, I was typing. So, it's, you know, it's one of those things where you take the hit because you're trying to troll someone and it's okay because we're not all game fun. <laughs> but time to go to work now. It's all fun and games, so somebody gets smashed in the face by an orc. Right? There's a sexual ref reference somewhere in there. Oh no, so another face went assault. Yeah, that's uh, why he went. Oh, I thought you said he went tactical. No, he went assault. Oh. Huh. Alright. I'm gonna stop messing with those fools. Cover your eyes, knob. Got him. Got And ironically, I burn through ammo way faster as tactical than I do as uh, my Devastator. Ooh, man. Too much gas. Oh, what you eat? Uh, pizza. What kind of pizza? Pepperoni and supreme. Oh, pizza that's good. With a lot of gluten. Oh, well, there you go. Gluten cause gas. I guess that was stuffed crust. Oh, that's awesome. I used to love stuffed crust. My stomach you can't handle that can't. much. Well, my stomach can't handle that much cheese anymore. Oh. It's like I've gotten a little bit too lactose intolerant. Damn it! Don't get a good angle. God, I need to Come on. I need to recharge my shield. No! What? Okay, come back. Get off sentry mode. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. I couldn't draw enough of them off you. Sorry. It's okay. If only I had another flash grenade. Okay, I got a bunch of them on me. That should uh, leave the point a little open. Huh? Why? Why did you appear upstairs? What happened? A knob pop up on you? No, a bunch of uh, Scar Wars with shields. Oh, the Ard Boys. Oh, come on, guys.
Oh wait, no wait, damn it! Yeah, I didn't reload my, my storm bolter. Oh, I don't know how I got out of no. there. No! What is this? No, no, don't throw that. Wait, dodge, 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 go on. <laughs> yeah, I was watching some more. Oh my god, Whoa, there's so many here. There's so many here. Why are there so many of them there? Uh, I guess this is the last one standing. Slenderface! Slenderface. You died, this is all your fault. Okay, I need to get out of this spot. Gabby in one second. Oh, we got no lives. Yep. Slenderface shoot up eight. Three deaths. Shoot up all our lives, Slenderface! Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah. All right, we'll blame all of that on Slenderface. All right. Yeah, we are. Yeah, Slenderface is your fault. Yep. Type, Rick. type that. In, type that in that chat. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be that trolly. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just say it online to my millions of viewers, all three of them. We no or no or no. No, no, I'm, right. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. It's like that's what these streams have become. Just like one, one, one shot streams. <laughs> Agree. Well, like, normally we make it to the end. Like, we've gotten that good. And Slenderface is nowhere near in the end. If only hey! Look at that! I'm up past the halfway mark to 40! Oh, but yeah, those last few levels are, like, such a huge grind. Oh, I know. Oh. It's horrible. Oh, hey, like, if you got time, I was thinking, do you want to work on your DNA character sheet now? Yeah, let's do it! Yeah, let's do that. Let's let, let me get out of here. Uh, right. Is it still that same uh, website? Yeah, uh, one twenty. Okay, let me uh, let me uh, turn off my Xbox controller. Let me bring it up here. All right. Oh. Okay. Uh. It's the roll twenty, you said. Yep. Uh, sign in. Yeah. Now let's see. Out of the abyss. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I gave you a character sheet. Was it this one? Nope. What about this one? No. Okay, so... Okay, I guess I might have missed uh, giving you a character. I'll go ahead and give you a character sheet now. The name is going to be... New Stark. You, you could change it, of course. Of course. Uh, let's see. Control by... Okay, new Stark should be up. There we go. Character sheet. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Alright. Alright, so core stats. What's gonna be the name okay. of my panda? Or... Wait, do you want it to be a panda? Oh, it's a bear, right? It can be any fucking bear, right? Go for panda. Go, go for it. Yeah, you are a panda. Yes. I am gonna call him. I want to call him Poe. <laughs> Uh, okay, he's your character. You do what you want. He's gonna be Poe, alright? Just like Kung Fu Panda. 
Get off my back. I am all the way off your back. So he's a, uh, okay, so race was going to be... A bearkin. Bear what? A uh, bearkin. B, okay. yeah, bear, and then K I N. Yeah. Or bear folk, however you want to put it. Bearkin, that's fine. Wait, how do I stop the music? Um, it, There should be a volume setting, like if you go to the music tab or jukebox. I don't see the, the slider. Should be up top. I see jukebox, yeah, but I don't see this like a slider for muting it or anything like that. And class would be uh You said you want to be a fighter because you get uh you can be a samurai as a fighter. Yes, fighter. Done. I am starting you off at level four, so you know. Uh okay. Uh where is it? Uh, current X all around. Oh, oh, I can't enter. So current XP would be um, to level four. Twenty seven hundred. And XP for the next level would be. Uh, let me get my books. I don't actually have my books out. I'm trying to do this from memory. Uh, they're right behind me. I just need to move this cage. Mr. Gibbets is out, so I gotta be careful he doesn't show my wires. Mr. Gibbets. Let's see here. To get to level 5, you need. Ah. On the page. Uh, 6,500. Alright. And where's that book of Samurais? Samurai. We are. We will be Samurai. Wait, I'm changing. No, Poe is not the name. His name is. Oh, oh, I see Mr. Grid. You're not getting over here. You like showing up my computer wires. Okay. I spotted you. Khan. Name is Khan. Okay, what page? Uh, yeah, this is the one for the Samurai, page 31. Okay, now your stats. So you need the, uh, what was it, like Chicken Soup uh, website, so you could uh, do the calculator. Chicken Soup? Or, I think it was Chicken Soup. Yeah, just Google um, D&D 5e. Stat calculator. Forgot to spell calculator. C A L. Chicken dinner. Chicken dinner. There we go. All right. Race would be. And it's going to be an, a custom race, right? Or No, this is a Cobalt Press, which is a third-party publisher. problem is I don't actually have the book, so I have to Google it. And, man, did I save this page? Because I know I found the page where I had all the information, but they like to hide some information. I guess they're trying to you know, get you to buy the book. Uh. Um, man, I hope I saved it. Uh... I don't think I saved it. No, I do have some of the information at least. So, okay, I know you're going to get a plus two to your strength. Plus three? Plus two on strength. So, uh, okay, so. Uh, you get a bite attack, you got natural armor. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. So right now the score is 10, so it's going to be 12 total in strength. 
Everything starts at 8. Well, you're using the, the chicken dinner, right? Yeah. Okay, so everything starts at 8, so plus 2 for strength, so let's hit 10. Wait, don't put that plus 2 yet. Because the most the most points you can put into a stat is 15. Well, you can only get up to 15. And then you add your plus 2. So you could actually put your strength all the way up to 15, then you add your plus 2, then you go to 17. Set. So okay. You, so. Yeah, so you put your race bonuses after you put in your stats. Just remember... You're gonna get a plus two to your strength, and based on what kind of sub race you're gonna be, like a grizzly bear or cave bear or whatever, you'll get an extra bonus stat to that. I'm just trying to find out where that is. So select race would be uh wait, select race. I thought bearkin. That's it's not even an option in the drop down. Yeah, that, that's, like I said, it's a third-party thing. It's not first-party. Hey, so, Genkai okay. uh, Hertzu, thank you for the ice cream cones. Very much appreciated. Okay, so custom race, strength is 15, plus 2 is 17. Okay. Let me know when you got all your stats taken care of. So anybody that's joining the stream right now, I know it's a Space Marine. We just finished playing Space Marine. Um, but uh, right now we're working on Stark King's D&D character for hopefully this Sunday, if not next Sunday. He's been out of the game for a while, so we're trying to get him back in. Because right now, from what I've found so far, I know you get the plus two strength, your alignment, um, they're usually good, they shun evil, and they're also usually chaotic, but you don't need to be chaotic good. You could pick whatever alignment you want. This is just what they typically are. On average, you're like seven feet high, or seven feet tall. Movement speed 30, you get a bite attack, and natural armor starts at a 13, which is stupid good. Uh, Powerful build, you count as one size bigger for carrying capacity. Again, really good, especially since you can be wearing, wearing heavy armor. Ursa and talent, you get bonus proficiencies. Okay, so, 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 okay, 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 okay. Uh, so, where are we at right now? So, okay, custom race. I'm in the uh, chicken dinner, so strength 15. Plus the ratio bonus two, so okay. seventeen total. Okay, so that uses up nine points so far. Yep. Go on. Dexterity would be at eight, so you're gonna leave that at eight. Uh If you wear heavy armor, heavy armor ignores negatives and positive to dexterity bonuses. Okay, so heavy. Well, because I am freaking fighter so at least as far as your ac goes like if you're so going, yeah so hold you, for the deck. you'll still be pretty bad at like doing stuff like stealth mm -hmm. but if you're worried about your armor class wearing heavy armor will negate that penalty so this okay i'll 
Uh, if I increase it by just one, would that? If you want probably, a zero that... penalty to your dexterity, you want it to be ten. Okay, so okay, so. But two. don't don't worry about having penalties. Because I just do like what you think makes more sense with your character. What do you think is going to be fun? Well, the thing is, because he is a fighter, he needs armor. He needs to have heavy armor to be able to take hits. So he has to have a high dexterity. Well, like well, like I said, if you have a high dexterity that gives you bonuses to your armor, heavy armor is going to ignore the dexterity bonus. Oh, that's true. You only get the bonus if you wear light armor, you get a full bonus. If you wear medium armor, you can only use up to a two-point bonus in dexterity. If you wear heavy armor, you get zero bonus, zero penalty. Mm, okay. Uh... And you know what? I'll leave it at eight. Just for the hell of it right now. Uh, okay. Constitution. Um, this will give you more hit points if you have a high constitution. Yep. We are gonna go with... Actually, that's gonna be... Uh, Eleven. Because I need that. Okay. If you want to get any bonuses, like a plus one or two... You need to get a 12 for plus 1 and a 14 for plus 2. Now, with the sub races, I, I found them by the way. If you pick the Grizzle Hide sub race, <clears throat> this is what it says As a Grizzle Hide bear folk, you are thicker and hardier than your cousins. Grizzle Hide furs range from black to gold, golden, often with light gray or blonde tips. Tough and ferocious grizzle hides are the original barefoot stock native to the colder northern climates. This gives you a plus one bonus to your constitution. You get a bear hug attack, and your thick coat makes you resistant to cold. Mm -hmm. Now, the other sub race is called the purifier. As a purifier, you are slighter of build with a reddish or pale fur. And some of the strong affinity, and with a strong affinity to nature, purifiers often serve as spiritual anchors in their communities. They are now purifiers are the recent branch of the bearful grace, and this gives you a plus one bonus to your wisdom. You get a druid cantrip and one spell, and you get an ability called Steward Will, which makes your intelligence, wisdom, and charisma or charisma saving throw uh, gives it a bonus so of a D four. So one is clearly for casters, the other one is clearly for fighter. Yep. Let's go with the fighter, just let's stick with the fighter. So okay. the first one would be, uh, what was the name of it? Grizzle Hide. G-R-I-Z-Z-L-E-H-I-D-E. H-I-G-E? D-E. D-E. Okay. I put it next to the, uh, bear can gristle okay sub race okay cool all right uh okay so uh going back to the uh ch chicken dinner uh okay so okay so constitution uh we'll go to a 14 i gave it a plus two there uh okay so what was the uh what was the uh additions to okay so you put your strength at seven of uh, 15 and your constitution of 14. This base before uh -huh. you add your bonuses. So that use up nine, seven, you got you use up sixteen Six. points, you got eleven yeah. left. Yep. Uh live intelligence as is. Okay. Yeah. This oh. so you know. Like in comparison to like the average human, average human stats are from is ten and eleven. So if you have anything under 10, you are below the average human in that stat. I am a bear. <laughs> I mean, hey, if you, if, <laughs> the big dumb characters are always the most fun characters. Can't be too dumb, so I'll, I'll put them at 10. Well, just for the, just for the... Okay, how about this? I would recommend, like, if you wanted to be like the big... Okay, there's a difference between intelligence and wisdom. Like, intelligence is your ability to learn and remember and uh, be able to catch on to things. But wisdom, that's more of a, like, common sense, street smarts. 
And uh, oh, okay, yeah, let's let's just okay. You, you gave me an idea when you said okay, okay. Uh, intelligence will keep it eight, but wisdom. Uh, what's the uh high for a plus one? A oh, twelve. That's the minimum you oh. need for a plus one. All right, we'll go there. All right, so I'm at twenty right now. So charisma. Um, charisma. That's for like just being able to. Well, that's your force of personality. Like, it's not just your good looks, but it's also like how well you're able to communicate with people. Um, how well you could like either lie to people or convince people of things. How well you could get people to be on your side, or like lead people if you want to be a leader. I uh, will go with that with a. Uh... Let's go with a twelve. Okay, so you got three points left. Uh, he doesn't get a bonus. Uh, he gets a plus one bonus, right? On that 12? Or... Yeah, so you get a plus one bonus on the 12. Okay, so I have three left. Uh, let's just put now, it in. If you want to like, get rid of the dex penalty, like just in case mm -hmm. you, you don't want to deal with the penalty, you can put like two points in dex just to get rid of the penalty, and then one in intelligence, so you're not, you know, role, role play wise, you're not too far below average intelligence, but you're still kind of dumb. Yep, yep, got it. So, okay, yeah, I got it. So it's uh, okay, 15 so, strength. Okay, and then your plus 2 bonus makes it 17. Yeah. Your dex is a 10. Your con, you said he's going to put it to 14. Then with your bonus, you go to 15. Until a 9, wisdom's 12, and charisma's 12. Okay. Oh, you're filling it out for me. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, as a fighter... Um, do you remember, okay, your saving throw proficiencies, those are the boxes next to your stats. Mm -hmm. uh, you are proficient in strength and constitution saving throws. So go ahead and click those boxes. So, uh, I'm sorry, so, uh, save on, what was it? So, strength? Strength and constitution. And constitution, proof, okay. Got it. All right, let's see here. Um, your, you know, let's do your health. Now, do you want to take the average of each level or do you want to roll for it? Okay. Uh... Okay, okay you, roll a, you roll a D10. If you take the average for each level, past level one, you get six hit points per level plus your constitution bonus. Now you could roll to try to get higher than a six but if you get lower than a six, you're gonna have to keep that. Oh. Hmm. And I can't meta game right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh. Okay. So okay, level one, you're gonna start off with twelve hit points because of constitution. So now okay. you got level two, three, and four. Are you gonna roll? You you could pick like one to roll, one to uh, do to average, or all average or all rolls. So I can just go with the rolls. Just go with the rolls. All right, row three D ten. All right, where's the uh thing? Well, you can just type uh, it. Just uh, type slash R, space three oh, D ten. Cross my fingers. Slash, slash R, R, space three D ten. Three D ten. That's no good. Oh, uh -oh. hey, uh, De welcome to the stream. Uh, Davix, De uh, oh, Davy Extreme. Not sure what EAE means. Do you know what EAE means? No. Okay, well, I hope it's a good thing. All right. Um, so 14. Ugh. I will give you one reroll. Okay. But this is your last chance. Do you want to do the average? Or roll it. Just roll it. Can't. Go for it. Three. Okay, three D ten. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh -huh. oh my god, really? Do I really have that it's such bad luck? Oh my god. Okay, fine, whatever. Uh Let's we'll take we'll take the higher the two. So, so four. Okay, so fourteen 
plus your 12. So that's a 26 plus your constitution bonus, 246. You got 32 hit points max. 32. And current would be 32, 32. or... You're seeing the updates on your screen too, right? Just make yeah. sure I'm not in this car, okay? Yep, I, I see it all. All right. Um, okay, go to skills. Okay, as a bearkin, you get something called the Ursarin Talent. You're automatically proficient in athletics and perception. Athletics? Yes. Perception. And okay. now as a fighter, you get to pick... Let's see... How many more you get to pick? Yeah, you get to pick two more. The choices are acrobatics, animal handling, history, insight, intimidation, or survival. Uh, and I get to pick two? Yep. Okay. Intimidation, yes. And uh, uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. survival. Okay. As a fighter, you get to pick a fight in style. So, do you like to be proficient or like specialize in archery, which gives you bonuses to your attack rolls when using bows, or any ranged weapons? Defense. It gives you a bonus to your armor class when you're wearing armor. Dueling. When you're wielding a weapon in one hand and no other weapons, you get a bonus to your damage. Great weapon fighting. If you're using a two-handed weapon, and if you roll like a one or a two for your damage, you could re-roll that damage once. Mm. Protection. If you're... I think you need to have a shield. Yeah, if you're wielding a shield... And if you're next to an ally, if somebody attacks your ally, you could give the enemy attacking them disadvantage. And then there's two weapon fighting. If you're fighting with two weapons, normally with your offhand weapon, you don't add your stat bonus to the damage. Two weapon uh -huh. fighting lets you add your stat bonus to it. Uh, remember that we said that was going to be a two-handed weapon to be like a samurai sword or something. So, yep, so that'll yeah. be great weapon fighting. Great weapon fighting, where do I put that? Um, let's go over to class. Here, I just switch it over. Okay. So class feature notes, you had great weapon fighting. Okay. Yeah. And um, it you get to reroll one or two damage rolls one or two yeah if you roll a one or two you get to re-roll it but you have to take what comes up the next time even okay, re-roll a... one damage roll mm -hmm. have to take sec second attempt okay okay all right you get the ability called second wind uh so oh. once per short rest uh, is it an action? Let me see. Blah, blah, blah. On your turn. Yep. As a bonus action, you could regain 1d10 plus your level hit points. Okay. So I uh, do I put that in class feature yeah, notes? Yeah, class feature notes. So what was it? Um, what was it? Uh... Second wind. Okay. Yeah. Next, you get action surge. Uh, can you go through the detail on the second one again, just to make sure I can write it down? The second wind. Once per short rest, as a bonus action, you can regain hit points equal to 1d10 plus your fighter level. Uh, action, bonus action, you can regain, uh, sorry, regain 1D, what? Yeah, 1d10 plus your fighter level and hit points.
Wow, I can't even spell. Eh, just spell it however that makes the most sense to you. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is with me, I have to write the whole freaking thing now if I can actually remember it. Uh, okay, action search. Okay, action search. Now this is uh, once per wait. Once, I just it. Yeah, once per short rest, you could do this. Um, you can take one additional action on top of your regular action as a bonus action. No, wait, wait. Possible. One. You can, you one. Can take one additional action on top of a regular. Okay, yeah. So once per short rest, you can take one additional action on top of your regular action. So. You could take two actions in one turn. Okay. Which, and I've seen some, uh, like, I don't know if you've been watching this TikTok, but this guy does, like, like uh, he plays D&D with himself. Like, he plays all the characters himself. And he's been doing some really, really wicked things with his fighter, who's, like, an mm -hmm. Eldritch Knight, using action surge to cast, like, Fireball twice in one turn. Damn. Yeah, and he's, just, uh, he's been wrecking shit with that character. Uh, real quick for uh, second win is once per rest or one once per short rest. Short rest. All right. Sorry, bear with me. Oh, let me this take your time. Uh, all right. Next. Okay. Next, you get a, a samurai ability. Okay. Samurai. Huh. You gain an extra proficiency. You're, you gain... Okay, so let's go back to your skills. Uh, skills? Okay. Okay, you get to pick one more proficiency from this. You could pick from history, insight, performance, or persuasion. Alternatively, you could instead learn an extra language if you want instead. Mm. Let's go with performance. Yeah, performance. Ooh. Okay, and in your class features, just so we can keep track, go ahead and put like samurai bonus proficiency and then performance. Up. Because I'm pretty sure in a few weeks I'm going to be looking through your character sheet and I'm going to be saying, wait, why does he have an extra proficiency here? Uh, proficiency would be uh, uh, performance. Uh, I shouldn't know how to spell that word. Good God. Performance. Okay, got it. Good. You also get, as your summary class, a fighting spirit. Fighting. Now this is new for me, so let me look this over. Yeah, as a bonus action on your turn, you can give yourself an advantage on a weapon attack row until the end of the current turn. When you do so, you also gain five temporary hit points. The number of temporary hit points increases when you reach certain levels. You can use this feature three times, and you regain all expended uses when you finish a long rest. Okay. Fight in spirit. There's going to be a few notes on this one. Okay, so, all right. What's the first note? Okay. As a bonus action, you give yourself advantage on a weapon attack. As a bonus action, give self a... a what was it? Advantage on, on a weapon attack. Okay. Second note. Um, you gain five temporary hit points. Points? Okay. You can use this three times. Oh, that's uh, that's still the same as the same. Okay, hold on. Uh, can you three times? You regain uses after a long rest. Regain uses. Regain yeah. after long rest. Okay. In fact, I wonder if we could put that in class resource. I never actually used this up here. So let's see. Fight in spirit. Did I spell it right? 
Why am I blanking on the word spirit? Uh, S T I R I T. Yep. Ready? Okay. Recharge, okay. long rest. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So now when you look at your class in upper right, you got fight and spirit, long rest, max three, current three. Yep. So it'll be easier for you to keep track of how many you got. Cool. Okay. Um, and that's all you get for now for your class features. Sweet. Now we get, you need to figure out your background. Okay. So what was this guy before he became an adventurer? Before he became an adventurer? Yeah. It's like let's like let's talk about his backstory so we can figure out what kind of background class well you know background feature we could give you. That makes sense. Uh Okay. Hmm. Background. <laughs> it's kind of kind of uh, hard. Okay, so he's a Sam right now. I guess uh, he was uh, he he was a uh, teacher, like a uh, you know uh, samurai teacher. But something happened that caused him to go to our adventure. Uh, okay, now now remember, um, before you're an adventure, like you're kind of like a rookie. A rookie? Yeah, like okay. level one characters are always rookies. You're not considered like a full fledged adventure okay. until you're like level five. Ah, okay. So uh I guess uh he was just uh I guess a student. Just put him a student. Okay, a student so, uh now okay, let's see, what do you think Squire would work for that? Yeah. Uh let's see. I know this uh, Squire background in one of these books. Let's see, backgrounds. What are you in? Knight. Mercenary what? veteran, inheritor. Not in that book. Let's see. It's like, were you like a, some kind of noble amongst your people? Uh. Noble, uh, well, if he was a rookie, I mean, I want to, I guess, uh, he was brought in. I don't want to say a noble, but he was just brought in. Oh, like, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I found one. From the streets? Uh, like, th this is also a third party one. Also Cobalt Press. So we're going full on Cobalt Press here. Okay. Soldier, groom slash squire, page 19. Let's see here. No military officer, lord, or knight can attend war without the help of those often seen as lessers. Grooms are responsible for the general care of one or more animals at war, including feeding, armoring, cleaning, and even training. Squires are often the children of lords assigned to a knight or officer to learn the practicalities of war and often, and often brutal consequences of failed negotiation. Squires tend to the animals, armor, weapons, equipment, and rations of their sire. Yep, that's pretty much it. So he's a squire. Well, it's a squire. Okay, so in background, let's put a squire. Like a soldier, a colon, squire. Uh, soldier, colon, squire. Uh, S -Q S -Q -U -I -R -E, right? Correct. All right. Okay. All right. You gain two more skill proficiencies. You get animal Ooh. handling and insight. Oof. Awesome. Okay. Um, you also get one more tool proficiency. And okay, you get to pick amongst calligraphy tools, uh, cook tools, leather worker tools, smith tools, tinkerer tools, or weaver tools. Uh, you, where do you put that in? Um, you would have to go put this underneath custom. Custom, uh, here, in the skills? Under skills? Yeah, under skills, in the second section, you see, like, custom one, custom two. Yeah. Yeah. So, I would pick one or two, I'm sorry? You, okay, you get to pick one of those tools. Polygrapher, cooks, leather workers, smith, tinkers, or weavers. 
I be a smith because of the sword. So yeah. And you also get to pick one land vehicle. Land vehicle. Yeah, like a a wagon, a chariot. Um, uh, what other like medieval kind of land vehicles are there? Wagon, chariot, uh... a carriage. Mm-hmm. Weird. Okay. Um, ah. we, we, you know, we could like this. We could metagame this and say like you're a good horse rider if you want to be on a horse. We can do that. Yeah, horse. Yeah, uh, horse rider. Because it, 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 horse riding was kind of a mode of transportation. So yeah, horse riding. Uh, so uh, put him skill. So it's smith, horse rider, and then yeah, and put it like uh, yes, you are proficient in both of those. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go back to background. Yes, you get um, a special feature called an eye for the best. You can put this underneath, uh, you know, underneath the squire thing. Okay, so uh, eye for the what? Eye, no, an eye for the best. Now I'm gonna read out like a big paragraph here, and we'll figure out how to, well, s summary it. You are skilled at picking the strongest, most intelligent, and most trainable mounts, birds of prey, hunting dogs, and other domestic animals commonly used for war. Whenever you purchase or otherwise acquire a draft horse, a camel, hawk, mastiff, mule, or riding horse from a selection of at least four wait, or riding horse from a selection of at least four of the same animal, that animal possesses the maximum hit points for his hit dice. So it gets more hit points, and its intelligence so, increases by one. So you okay. get yeah, when you're shopping for animals. If there's multiple animals there, you you can pick the best one, and it gets bonus stats. So basically, yeah, skill at picking at picking at at the best animal. Yes, the the skill at picking best. the best animals when shopping. When shopping. Okay, I say like um in parentheses. They gain max hit points per hit die and plus one intelligence. So gain plus one. Oi, oi, no. Wait, no. Plus one intelligence and max hit points per hit die. Yes, and max hit points per, per hit die, right? Yes. And like the types of animals you, you can find, like that, it doesn't have to be specifically from this list. I could always do it like based on your race, based on the environment you're in. But mm -hmm. you could pick the best war animals for the situation. Oh, oh uh, yeah, war animals. Okay, we'll just put war animals. Basically, from horses, eagles, hawks, yeah. uh, bears, or something, whatever. <laughs> okay. Now, in racial traits, um, let's just fill this out so we don't lose track. We want Ursarin talent. U R S I N E. Okay, so wait, wait, so repeat that again. Sorry. Ursine talent. U R S I N E. Um, are you saying Earth Earth sign? I, I I might be saying this wrong. Here, let me type it up for you. Yeah, t type it on the racial trait because I'm like, what? Here, do you see that? Your sign. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, Ursine Talent. Talent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It gave you the bonus proficiencies to athletics and perception. You don't need to write that all out, but this is just so we can remember you have this. Um you also get powerful build. You count as one size larger for carrying capacity. Uh so can't oh what's that? Oh, wait, 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 sorry. Go back to Earth Sign Talent, and what am I going to type under that? Sorry. Um, proficient with athletics and perception. Perception. Oh my god, I can't spell. I, I, yeah. Proficient, okay, and powerful build. 
powerful build is, you gain one. Sorry. Um, you count as one size or larger for carrying capacity. This is actually pretty major because almost every character I play and everybody that plays my games likes to carry everything in, you know, their entire life's uh, objects in their backpack, which makes them heavy. Okay. So they move slower. With this, you carry a lot more stuff. You got this actually doubles the amount of weight you carry. So count as one size larger and carrying. Okay. Um, you get bite. Nice. You deal one d six plus strength in piercing damage. One d six plus strength. Strength. Sorry, one d six plus strength plus what? Piercing damage. One d six plus strength for piercing damage. Piercing. Cool. Okay. Um, you get natural armor. Okay. Your base AC is thirteen. That is, okay. and I can't emphasize how much that's broken. <laughs> I mean that is really really good. Uh, piercing. How do you spell piercing? Oh my god. Uh, the P. Uh, where was it? Yeah, P I E R C I N G. I don't know why they were, I was thinking of uh, A. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, base um, at eight thirteen. Yeah, okay, and your known languages is a box up there. You know, common and umbra. Common? Uh, U or A? U uh, M B R A L. Um, U A U M B R A L? Yes. Okay. Umbra. Okay. Oh wait, uh, well, I forgot to tell you about your grizzle hide abilities. Um, you get bear hug. This is also going down underneath racial traits. Bear. Bear hug. Okay. I'm just going to read out this paragraph. We'll figure out how to shorten it. Okay. When you take an attack action, you can make an unarmed strike as a bonus action. If you hit, you can grapple the target in addition to the deal and damage to it. You can use this ability a number of times equal to your constitution modifier and regain all expended uses when you finish a long rest. Holy crap. Okay, so yeah, you can hit him with your samurai sword and then you can hug him. So, okay, okay. I, I might have to need to write that whole thing down because that... Look at it. So, okay. So, okay. Doran and attack action. Okay. Make unarmed strike as bonus action. Make an on what? Sorry. Unarmed strike. Okay. On hit, target is grappled and takes normal damage. Target is grappled and takes normal. So during 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 an attack action, make an arm unarmed strike on a hit target. On a hit target is grappled and takes normal damage. Okay. Yeah. Unarmed strike as a bonus action. That's important. Uh, unarmed arm action isn't a bonus action. Yeah, the unarmed strike is a bonus action. Okay. 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 Um, you could do this a number of times equal to your constitution modifier. So, can do... Right, number of times can you use this constitution bonus. Right now, that's a 2 for you. So, can do... Uh, okay, so, okay. So, can do it equal... Equal to con bonus. To con... Oh. Okay. Recharge on long rest. Okay, 
So can okay, can do equal to con bonus recharge. In fact, to keep track of it, if you go back to the class tab, you know, remember where I put your fighting spirit? You could probably yeah. add a bear hug to that. Bear hug. Okay. And recharge after a long rest. It'll be two maxes, two, right? Yep. Got it. Okay. Now go back to background. The last thing you get is a thick coat. You are resistant to cold, which means you take half cold damage. Resistance to cold. And what was it? Uh, reduce. Yeah. Resistance means you take half cold damage. Cool. Okay. All right. Now we get to roll up your personality traits. Uh, personality traits. Where is that? Oh, that's oh. in background. Ah, uh, personality traits. Okay. Okay. Roll a d8. Three D eight or no, there's one D eight. One D eight. Oh eight, okay. I work hard so I can play hard. Okay. If you're the kind of guy that does his homework on Friday so we can party on Saturday. Mm hmm Okay, next is your ideal. Ideals. Yep. Okay. Roll a D6. We could always re-roll this if this goes against like the kind of character you want to make. Because this kind of mm -hmm. influences your alignment. Alright. Two. Independence. I must prove I can handle myself without the protection of my lord. Independent. I like it. Independent. Just, uh, I must prove I can handle myself without anybody's protection. This makes you chaotic. Myself. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I must prove I can handle myself at what? Without the protection of my lord. Okay. Bonds. Okay, bonds. Roll a d6. Uh, one. One. The animals I train are my greatest allies. Train are dead. I put alias instead of uh, ally. One <laughs> of my greatest aliases. Nobody can Flaw. tell us apart. Floss. Now that I think about it, like you're a gigantic bearkin. How are you gonna ride on a horse? You're gonna need a, like something bigger than a horse to carry you around in the battlefield. A panda, no. Well, pa pandas are work. too lazy to run. Okay, finally your flaw. Roll a d6. Four. I sometimes forget to think before I speak. <laughs> you think before I speak. Oh, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, before we leave this, let's uh, fill up the, your physical stats up top. Your gender, age, height, weight, eyes, that kind of stuff. Age. Well, how old would a pa a bear be? Uh, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Age. Yes, they should have it here. Okay. Bear folk come of age in their late teens and live around 80 years. So... Uh... Oh. Seventeen. No, I mean, wait. I mean, it seems to be pretty similar to humans. Yeah. So fourteen. I mean, no, fourteen. <laughs> so eighteen. Oh, eighteen. We'll go with eighteen. Right, we got thieves. 
Well, the thing is, it would make sense, wouldn't it? Or well, you're not level one; you're level four. So you, oh, okay. you've have you've have had time to train a little bit. So okay. Ah, I'll just put on my age. Thirty-two. All right. Oh, then like that. Oh, four. Thirty-two. We're good. All right. Okay, let's see. Uh, your size. I know you're going to be medium for size, but your height. Like I said, you average around like seven feet tall. So, give or take, like under seven, over seven. You're you're a big one. Six feet. Oh, you're a tiny bear, folk. Fine, six. No, no, six. no. I mean, no, that's fine. I'm just uh. saying, like, as far as bear folk go, that's short. They're still taller than you know the average human. Right. Oh, well, let's go seven. Let's, let's just stay there. Seven. Wait. Uh, ooh, that's a good question. Like, how much you think you would weigh as a bear folk? Seven. Like, how much would a human, like a burly human, weigh at seven feet? Uh, up like 320, 50, 350 pounds. Three feet. How much does a mountain weigh? You know, the guy from Game of Thrones? Probably like make close like 375. Um, you could be that big if you want. All right. Life. Because then, because I I remember when uh you know how Kane and the Undertaker were built at six ten, they were close to three fifty when they were wrestling. So um, that's where I'm going off from that. I'm actually like looking up the character, but no, that's no that works out. Okay, I pick whatever color eyes you want. Yeah. Brown, whatever. Okay. Hair. Okay, hair. Well, pff, what color do you want your fur to be? Your grizzle hide. Oh, or, let's or, go or brown. You, or you can look like a panda if you want to look like a panda. No, no, let's go brown. Let's go brown. Brown size. Ooh. Oh, you're medium. You're medium size. Medium. Okay. Vision is normal vision. You don't get dark vision, unfortunately. Course. Alignment. Um, bear folk are generally chaotic and generally good, but you don't need to pick that. I'll just note it down. Okay, so which one you pick? Uh, good. Okay, so you're chaotic good? Chaotic good, yeah. All right, let's see. Now, okay, we got your background, your class abilities, your... Ooh, now we get to pick the, the most fun part everybody loves in D&D, shopping. Oh, wait, before we shop, um, since you're level four, you get one feet. One feet, okay, where are we going? Where, where, where are we putting this? Um, this should be underneath class. Okay. Like, yeah, like other class abilities, notes, and feats. That second box. Here? Okay, here. Okay. And now, here's the thing. You get two eyes. You get a choice. You either pick a feat or you get two extra ability points you could put in your stats. Hmm. Can I know the feats, or I cannot? Oh no! I, no, you get a list of feats you can pick from. All right. What's what, what's the uh, feats? Okay. Um, here, I'm gonna go with the basic ones in the player handbook. There's more. There's like a lot more. But I'm gonna, oh man! For now, I'll start off with the basic ones. There's alert. You get a plus five bonus to your initiative. You cannot be surprised if you're conscious. And other creatures do not gain advantage on their attack rolls against you when they are hidden. Mm. Next is Athletic. Mm. You get to put one point in either Strength or Dex. When you're prone, standing up only costs you 5 feet of your movement instead of half. Climbing does not count or cost extra movement. And you can make a running long jump or running high jump moving only 5 feet instead of 10. Next is Actor. You get a bonus point in your Charisma. You have advantage on Deception and Performance checks. 
Oh, when you're trying to pass yourself off as another person, which is going to be difficult when you're a bear folk. Mm hmm. And you can mimic the speech of another person or the sounds of other creatures as long as you study them for at least a minute. Mm. Okay. Next, you have Charger. When you take a dash action, you can use a bonus action to make one melee attack or to shove a creature. Also, if you move at least 10 feet in a straight line, immediately before taking this bonus action, you can either gain a plus 5 bonus to your attack roll, or push the creature an extra 10 feet. Mm, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, next is Crossbow Expert. Do you plan on using crossbows? No. We'll skip that. Defensive Duelist. Uh, you want to use two-handed weapons, right? Uh, I thought it was a double-handed weapon. Yeah, uh, two-handed weapons is what oh, you're yeah, Okay, so Defensive Duelist only works for one-handed weapons. Okay. Yep. Uh, Dual Wielder, we're going to skip that. Dungeon Delver. You, had a, you have advantage on perception and investigation checks to detect secret doors. You have advantage on saving throws made to avoid or resist traps. You have resistance to damage from traps. And you can search for traps while traveling at normal sp uh, speed instead of a slow pace. That goes against all bears. Yes. Okay. Next is dur Durable. You gain one point in your constitution. And when you roll your hit dice to regain hit points, like when you're doing a short rest, uh -huh. the minimum number of hit points you regain from the rolls equals twice your constitution modifier. So for you, no matter what you roll, the minimum you could gain is four hit points. Awesome. Okay. Next is elemental add-up. Well, that's for spellcasters. Okay. We're skipping that, so grappler. You have advantage on attack rolls against creatures you are grappling. And you can use an action to try to pin a creature grappled by you. To do so, make another grapple check. If you succeed, you and the creature are both restrained until the grapple ends. Next up, Great Weapon Master. Ooh. This uh, only works if you're using a two-handed weapon. Of course. On your turn, when you score a critical hit with a melee attack that or you reduce the enemy to zero hit points. You make another one other melee attack as a bonus action. Also, before you make a melee attack with a heavy weapon, which is a two-handed weapon, you can choose to take a five-point penalty to your attack row. If you hit, you deal ten extra damage. So that's a big risk versus reward kind of thing. Yeah. Next up, we got Healer. When you use a healer healing kit to stabilize a dying creature, they also regain one hit point. And, as an action, you can spend one use of the healer's kit, they have 10 uses, to restore somebody's hit points by 1d6 plus 4. Plus any additional hit points equal to the creature's maximum number hit dice. Next up, okay, heavily armored. You're already proficient in heavy armor, so we'll skip that. We'll go heavy armor master. This is actually really good. You increase your strength by one point. Plus, while wearing heavy armor, blunt, piercing, and slashing damage you take from non-magical weapons is reduced by three. Mm -hmm. What's the name of that one again? Sorry. Heavy armor master. Mm-hmm. Okay, next up, Inspiring Leader. Is your Charisma 13 or is it 12? Uh, Charisma... 12. Okay, you need a 13 Charisma for this, so we'll skip that. Keen Mind. This increases your intelligence by one. You always know which way is north. You always know the number of hours left before the next sunrise or sunset. And you, and you can recall anything you have seen or heard within the past month. That Ooh. that okay. That I'm sure there's just some role playing elements to that, but it sounds kind of boring. 
Yeah. Okay, light arm. Okay, you don't need that. Linguistic. You gain one point in intelligence. You get to learn three languages of your choice. And you're able to create written ciphers. Others cannot decipher your code unless you teach them. Or they succeed in an intelligence check equal to your intelligence plus your proficiency bonus. Or they use magic. Yeah, boring. And yeah. for, for Alpha Bear. Yeah. Now, Lucky. <clears> hmm. <throat> You have three luck points. When you make an attack roll, an ability check, or save and throw, you can spend one luck point to roll an extra 20-sided dice, and you choose the highest one of those rolls. You can also spend a luck point when you attack, when an attack is made against you. You roll a 20-sided dice, and the attacker needs to take the, and then you get to pick the, the roll for your attacker. So they got to take the lowest of the rows. Mm -hmm. Or the highest is your choice for whatever reason. If more than one creature spends a luck point to influence the outcome of, this, of these rows, the points cancel each other out. So if two people have this feat and they're using lucky, they just cancel each other out. Mm -hmm. And you regain the uses of your luck points after a long rest. That one sounds interesting. The thing is, like, we have characters that pick Lucky, but they always forget to use it. I know. I probably forget to. Ah, uh, but it looks interesting. Okay. Next up, Mage Slayer. Uh, okay. When you when a creature within five feet of you cast a spell, you can use your reaction to make a melee at weapon attack against that creature. When you damage a creature that is concentrated on a spell. That creature has disadvantage on the saving throw to maintain its concentration. Also, you have advantage on saving throws against spells cast by creatures within 5 feet of you. Next up, we have Magic Initiate. This is if you want to cast spells. So we'll skip that. Yeah, nope. Yep. <clears throat> Next up, Martial Adept. You learned two maneuvers. From the Battlemaster archetype. The Battlemaster archetype is, uh, that's another fighting, fighter subclass. Mm -hmm. Where I could bring up the entire list of the Battlemaster maneuvers. But it's essentially, you get to control the flow of the battlefield. So you make an attack and then you could have, like, I think twice a day. You could have an ally move up and then they attack. Or you could try to, uh, use your maneuvers to defend an ally to make them retreat mm -hmm. or you can try to disarm an enemy or trip them or something like that so this gives you two maneuver uh, maneuvers from that list next up we have uh you don't need that's medium armor proficiency you don't need that mobility <clears throat> your speed increases by 10 feet when you use the dash action Difficult terrain does not cost you extra movement on that turn. And, when you make a melee attack against a creature, you don't provoke opportunity attacks from that creature for the rest of that turn, whether you hit or not. Alright, um, we'll skip the next one because... I'm oh, sorry, go on. I'm in the left. Okay. okay, you're already proficient in armor, so we'll skip that one. Mounted Combatant. You have advantage on melee attack rows against an, any unmounted creature that is smaller than your mount. You can force an attack you can force an attack targeted at your mount to target you instead. And if your mount is subjected to an effect that allows it to make a dexterity saving throw, to take only half damage and instead takes no damage if, if it succeeds and half if it fails so that's unless you're always writing something that this isn't going to come into play very often yeah next up we got observant increase your intelligence or wisdom by one you can see a cre if you can see a creature's mouth while it's speaking a language you understand, you can inter you can interpret what it's saying by reading its lips. 
and you get a plus five bonus to your passive perception and investigation scores. Next up, Polearm Master. You're not going to use a polearm, right? Like, you want to use those uh, Samurai Katana Blades, right? Okay, so we're skipping Polearm Master. Next up, Resilient. Increase any ability score by one point, And you gain proficiency in saving throws with that ability score. Okay, skipping Ritual Caster. You're not a caster. Next, Savage Attacker. Once per turn, when you roll damage for a melee weapon attack, you can re-roll the weapon's damage dice and use either total. Eh, you already got that one where you get to re-roll ones and twos. Yeah. Okay. Next up is Sentinel. When you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, the creature's speed becomes zero for the rest of the turn. Creatures... Uh, when a creature provokes opportunity attacks from you, even if they take the disengage action before leaving your reach. That's cool. When a creature within 5 feet of you makes an attack against a target other than you, you can use your reaction to make the melee attack a, a weapon attack against... The, wait. Yeah, you can use your reaction to attack that creature. Okay, next up, Sharpshooter. You're not going to use much range weapons, are you? No. Skipping that. Okay, Shield Master. You're not using a shield. Uh, skilled. You can gain proficiency in three more skills or tools of your choice. Next up is Skulker. You don't have enough dexterity for that. Spell Sniper. You're not a spellcaster. Uh, Tavern Brawler. Increase your strength or constitution by one point. You are proficient in improvised weapons, like picking up a chair. Your unarmed strikes deal 1d4 damage. Well, your bite already does 1d6. Mm -hmm. When you hit a creature with an unarmed strike or an improvised weapon on your turn, you can use a bonus action to attempt to grapple to... Well, you already got the bear hug. So two of these things you already got something better of. Yep. Okay. Next up is tough. You gain two extra hit points per level. So for your level, like if you were to take this, you'll gain eight extra hit points right now. Um, Warcaster, you don't cast spells. Weapon Master, you already know all the weapons. So that's all the basic um, beats. Yeah, I like uh, the last ones and the the one that adds more hit points. Uh, simple. Also, the language, the one with the charge. What was it? Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think it was charger. And then the very first one you mentioned. Alert. Alert. Yeah, bonus to initiative. You can't be surprised, and enemies don't get advantage when they try to surprise you. Oh, what was the one that it had, uh, um, it was, I believe, the second to the last one that says that it added an error, uh, added to, what was, what was it? Skills? Uh, oh, 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 skill. You get to pick a combination of any three skills or tools. You know, to be proficient in. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I would recommend that uh, whatever you pick, since you're so close to having 18 strength, to pick something that gives you at least one point to your strength, so you can get a plus four bonus to your attacks. That, that uh, is, which one? Well, there's, a, there's a lot of them that gives you a bonus to your strength. Actually, let me take a look at your core stats real quick oh okay there, something else you could do is to ignore defeats and you just take your two skill points so you could get your strength up to 18 and your con up to 16 so your strength bonus is a four and your con bonus is a three so you end up getting more hit points for your con bonus being a three 
and you do more damage because your strength is a four. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and increase that. Can yeah, I give you your extra hit points already? You're at 36. Yay! Alright, so that's your feet. Now we get to do the shopping. Um, not sure how much money I'm going to give you at level 4. I'll just give you equipment. And we'll figure out okay. money later. So for armor, you want to wear heavy armor. <clears throat> Where's the list? All right. I will give you splint mail. Okay, so I'll go into armor and what's the name of it? Splint. Okay. This is the second highest. I didn't give you the highest because plate armor is 1500 gold and you're not going to get that much money. The base so AC on this is 17. Okay. Armor type? Heavy. Okay. Del pen disadvantage? Or... Uh, yes, you get disadvantage. Okay. Uh, minus 10 feet to speed or. No. Uh, no. Okay. Um. Oh, and, um. Put uh, underneath that unarmored, or like what was it? Uh, no, what was it? The thick hide? No, natural armor. Your natural armor is thirteen. Nat natural hide or? Yeah, um, I'm looking at it says natural armor. The natural armor in the team is is thirteen. That's light. I'm assuming. Uh, no, you don't put anything there. Uh, stealth pen? Nope. Nope, that, that's it, you just put 13 there. Okay. Oh wait, huh, why is this? AC worn 30, AC on armor 23. Wait a minute, why is this saying 23? Oh, wait, wait, you know what? Let me... Okay, I'll just put 3 there. There we go. Your AC worn right now is 20. Okay. That's really good. Okay, and weapons. Oh, and I'll go into your inventory real quick. And put splint. And it weighs 65 pounds. Now, weapons. Um, there's no specific stat for, like, uh, kata you know, Samurai Katana Blade. And I know there's different kinds of Katana Blades, but you want to use the one that's specifically the really big Sephiroth two-handed sword, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we will consider that a great sword. So put, like, uh, Katana, parentheses, great sword. Okay. Strength. Yep, it's strength. The damage is 2d6. Two. Oh wait. So for dice damage plus. It's, yeah, it's 2d6 in dice damage. Did I put that right? 2d6. Yep. And in damage yeah. type, slashing. Uh, crit damage is 2d6. Okay. Okay, do you want any, like, extra weapons? Uh... Probably, uh... 
don't know if you can go into like the actual like the claws or would that be considered uh oh yeah yeah uh, put your bear uh, your, your bite that's what it was you got a bear you got the bite attack Okay, damage is 1d6, damage type Pearson, and crit will be 1d6. Okay. Uh, for, for, can I have another weapon or? That's oh it? Yeah, yeah, like if you want a, another basic weapon, go for it. Uh, uh, what is it like? Uh. Would it be like a short blade, or what is like uh, something like that he can just pick up off his pocket? You know how you have the big some samurai sword, but also a small one on to the side. Um, see, I think it's called a wakashi, or wakashi. Yeah, and we'll give that the stats of a short sword. Okay. Gain a short sword. Where is it? Okay. So, wakashi. Okay. Okay. Damage is one d six. Slashing. Slashing. It's Pearson. Okay. Crit damage is one d six. Oh, and in the attack stat, uh, put that as finesse. Uh. Okay. And that and the uh, crit damage will be one d six. That's right. Okay, and yeah, put that in your inventory. A short sword weighs two pounds. Oh, two pounds, and then great sword. Yeah, the great sword weighs six pounds. Six. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, let's see, you're probably gonna to want to have a backpack. Nope. You have to carry all your stuff. Yep. Oops. Oh. Right, okay. <laughs> no, but I, I rolled my chair back to get uh, my dungeon master guide so I could go through the magic items because I need to give you some magic items. Does a bear really need a magic item? So everybody can use magic items. <laughs> so um. Yeah, you give yourself like what five days of rations. So five. Yeah, rations will weigh. They weigh two pounds each. Uh. Um. Food. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if you needed to put 10 or if you could just put 2 and then it just multiplies it by itself. Wait a minute. So if I Wait for a single item. Yeah, here we go. That's the, that's usually how I play it. Okay. Um, I assume you want a water skin? Yes. Okay, water skins weigh 5 pounds full. Uh, water. Uh, let's see here. Um, you got a bedroll. A mess kit. A tinderbox. Uh, 50 feet of rope. Okay. And, uh... How many torches do you want? You get to pick, uh, like, how many torches you want to carry around. Because, uh, you don't have dark vision or anything like that. How long do torches last? I mean, oh, I can't ask that. Oh, uh, no, you, you can. Uh, how long does the torch last? Because I know it's a lot longer in D&D than it actually is in real life. Uh, let's see... One hour per torch. 
damn. Okay. You know, maybe you could get a lantern instead. Lanterns last longer. Yeah, let's do a lantern. Let's see, uh... A hooded lantern. Okay, with one pint of oil, uh, burns for six hours. Oh, so I would have to have the lantern and oil. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So, one lantern would be suffice. But oil has to be... Uh, well, the thing is, like, oh, wow. and oil also has like different uses too. So, yeah. Well, one, it lasts for six hours instead of one hour for one thing of oil, and two, if you wanted to, you could splash oil on an enemy, set them on fire, or do whatever else you want to do with oil. Uh okay, okay. So, how heavy is oil? I mean, it's one pound per flask of oil, and that's a pint. So a flask pint. is a pint, and that weighs one pound. Oof. Don't forget, your carrying capacity is actually one size bigger than this. Yeah. All those numbers double. Okay. It. Okay. So, uh, uh, so the bedroll, how 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 much? That's a, the bedroll. Uh... Uh, the bedroll is. What's bedroll? Seven pounds. Seven. Mess kit. Mess kit is one pound. Uh, 50 feet of rope. Rope, rope. 10 pounds. Uh, lantern? The lantern? Is it on the lantern? Yeah, here we go. Two pounds. Two pounds. Uh, okay, so... Mess kit is, uh, first aid, right? No, a mess kit, that's, um, like... Uh, like a fork, a tin cup. It's like oh, uh, utensils. Like, yeah, like you, like yeah, not, not ki yeah, kitchen utensils, but for camping. Oh, camping tools, or whatever. Camping tools. Uh, rope. Uh, rope. Uh, lantern. Uh, light. Uh, oil. Oil, of course. Um. Okay, so. Uh, uh, during the journey, I guess it's kind of meta gaming. Do we go into town and stuff like that to be able to purchase stuff like that? Yes, it's like uh, you know, what? let me look up to see if I could find a list of hey Kentucky boy. Yeah, well, which one are you calling sexy, me or Starkin? Oh wait, I see we only have one viewer. Man, I am not paying attention to the chat at all today. Yeah, you're not. Okay, I'm gonna see item list D and five E. Cause I can go twenty five off the bat. <laughs> oh, you can go twenty five off the bat. Like well, I have... No, 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 no. Sorry. Uh, twenty five pounds of oil. Oh yeah, you you could do that if you like. Just, just uh, keep in mind, that's going to be a very flammable backpack if anybody hits it with fire. Yeah, pressure. yeah, I know. Uh, let's go with the... Uh, well, the thing is, like, how frequent do we stop and how stop... Because if we run out, then we're like... Eh. Uh, okay. Let's list of items. Okay, this also has like the magical items here too. Mage. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just put here. This also has magic items, but we're going to basic items. Should be able to click that link. Come on, it's not loading. Why are you not loading? Oh, Oil.
Uh, let's go with eight, just for the hell of it. Uh, eight, and we'll f I'll figure that calculations up later when I'm actually in game. Because yeah, that's that's how I roll. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, and you can always stock up whenever you get to a town or settlement. Or yeah. Or like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Eight. Uh, so. Okay, that I got the list handy. Um, do you want soap? A spyglass? Actually, spyglasses are expensive. Never mind. That's like a thousand bucks, really? So we'll go with soap. Whoa. Yeah. That, 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 yeah, soap doesn't weigh anything. Zero. Oh, okay. Zero. Uh, washing. But I'm a bear. I. I okay. Whatever. Uh. <laughs> uh okay. Uh, I can like throwing up random items that I'm seeing here. Uh, uh oh, crowbar uh, uh, is actually useful for adventuring. Crowbar, yeah. How much does that weigh? Uh, crowbars weigh five pounds. Cool. Wow. I can't spell shite. Crowbar. Okay. Uh... Now, we can completely eliminate, or maybe not eliminate, but make it less uh, heavy on you for vision. If I give you goggles of night, it's a magic item. It pretty much gives you dark vision for 60 feet. Okay. Now, you can still hold on to the lantern because dark vision... It does let you see in the dark, but it's not good vision. It's kind of like a... You know when it, when it said like kind of dark in your house, but you can still kind of see everything around it? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's what dark vision is. You can see like that. But you would still prefer to have a light turned on. Yeah. So, goggles of night? Oh. Yep, goggles of night. How much is that way? Uh, it doesn't actually say, but I'm just going to go with one pound. Vision. Okay. So you you now, you now have sixty feet of dark vision. Six feet. Uh, note it down. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, I think. I, I mean, it's a warrior. Um, you want a healer's kit? Kind of like a healer's kit is a first aid kit. Yeah. Or, like, be, well, you're not proficient in healer's kit. Like, I guess you could use it to stabilize somebody that's dying, but you're not going to be able to regain any hit points. We'll put three. Healing. Okay. Your healer's uh, kit weighs three pounds. Yep. Um, you're packing, you're packing me a lot of stuff, buddy. Well, well, you don't need three. Like, you can use it one healer kit ten times. Oh. The th things were telling me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I, I, I did tell you. Just, I, I waited. Okay, uh, what else do I need? I mean, what is it? Though? I mean, how, how many is... How many things do people carry? I mean, oh good god. Yeah, I, I told you, Mike. Every, every party I've been with is always super heavy. Mm. Now, is your character like a religious character? No. So, like, doesn't have to be heavily religious, but like, worships like some nature god or something. No, he's a bear. Well, bears he worship is... nature gods. He's his own god. <laughs> he's his own bear god. And uh, how about some potions? Would you like some potions? Potions? I roll, would love some potions. Roll a d6. Roll a d6? And, and we're going to uh, really do this. Actually, we, yeah, just do no, d3, rather. D3? Okay, you have two healing potions. Two? Healing. Portions. Wait. Um, uh, how much do potions weigh? 
You're making them make me uh, look One like... half pound. So 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. Kini. Okay, and roll another D3. Okay, you're gonna get three extra potions. Three extra potions? Uh, no, not, not healing potions. Uh, let's see. The first one is a potion of climbing. One potion? Climbing potion. I don't know why would I need that, but oh. okay. Uh, you gain like, a climbing yeah. speed equal to your walking speed. So, oh, wait, okay. Do you always, did you already have that as a bear? Shouldn't I have that as a bear? Uh... Let's see. Well, I am a grizzly uh, bear. No, no, you don't have that. So, 0. 0.5 feeling, uh, ability. Okay. And then what's okay, so the next yeah, one? It lasts for one hour. Your climbing speed is equal to your walking speed. And you have uh, advantage on athletics checks. Well, I could just look this up whenever you drink the potion. Climbing speed equals walking speed. And last for one hour, you said? That's right. One hour. What's uh, the next potion? The next one was... Where is it? Must be uncommon. A potion of resistance. Resistance potion. Now roll a, D, um, a D10 a d on this. Oh, okay. One D ten. Nine. Radiant. Radiant. So you become yeah, potion of radiant resistance. So for one potion. hour Yeah. One hour you're resistant to radiant damage. Ability uh resistance of radiant damage radiant damage you said yes essentially holy damage holy damage of course i'm an atheist <laughs> okay what's the third potion third potion is a potion of water breathing wow potion of water breathing. Oh my god, I will spell breathing like B R E E D I N G. <laughs> Not that breathing. Breathing. Don't get any smart ideas. Ability. Nope, nope. I, get, I want to get dumb ideas. Able to breathe underwater. How long? One hour. Oh, awesome. Okay, and that's it for magical stuff. Cool. All right, that, that, that's we're good there. Rare. So okay, so I'm carrying a hundred and twenty-seven point five pounds of shite. And as far as pocket change, let's say you have a hundred and fifty gold pieces. Uh, so, okay, so that goes into coin carried, and I put one under CP, how, how much? Uh, GP, you want 150. 150. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be stingy as fuck, so don't tell anyone. No, that's fine. I'm all good with that. <laughs> but, oh. Your clothes. You're also going to need to wear some kind of clothes. You you have to have clothes underneath your armor. Otherwise, it's going to cause massive chafing. I'm a bear, though. Yeah, you do have that really thick hide. But I'm you're a not, fur. But you're not going to be naked under there, right? It's fur. Fine. What's the uh, what's that uh, underneath the uh, samurai uh, armor? What's it called? Well, yeah, they're robes. I'm trying to remember. I, I forget the exact name, but 
We could classify it as either common clothes, fine clothes, or traveler clothes. Mm. Mm. Okay, so what's the difference between the normal clothes and the traveler's clothes? Um, they are both weigh the same, but the traveler clothes are more expensive, so they probably look nicer. That's like just normal clothes. Fuck it. I'm gonna wear armor over it. Okay, so and it weighs uh, three pounds. Yeah, this includes your shoes and stuff too, so. Okay. And again, wait, what kind of shoes would. I guess you wouldn't really need shoes. No. Oh. I'm a bear. I'm a bear. I don't need shoes. My sh my feet are weapons. I can claw. Damn it. All right, all right. I got you. I got you. Wait, am I missing any more in the chat here? Nope. Who is Kentucky Boy? Is he new here? I don't know. We're getting a lot of new people on D Live lately. Mm. This dragon fruit refresher from Dunkin' Donuts was actually pretty delicious. Alright, let's see. There was something else I was kind of thinking of. The Ion Stone. If you wanted to not have goggles at night. It's the Ion Stone. Ion Stone? Yeah, it's kind of like this glowing stone that floats around your head. I just want to verify that that's that I'm not thinking of something else. Yeah. This is I O U N. I pronounce I, it. Wait, I wait, wait. I I O U N. Yes. Stone. Mm-hmm. Um well I, mean, I was considering giving it to you, but no, this is the wrong stone. Okay. Uh this is something else. Give me a freaking pebble and I'll be happy. Uh, well, Jade. No, like there's Jade. there's like a stone that's supposed to float around your head that lights up. So like it's kind of like a torch that you don't need to hold in your hand. Uh, but you get the goggles of night. Like I just yeah, know I don't if you want your character to, you know, wear goggles of night. No, he'll wear them. He'll probably look cool. Okay. He's a bear. What does he care? Why do I care? It's just goggles. Remember, I'm dumb. Duh. Okay. Duh. Let's see, okay. Um, as, as it, like, I'm trying to see like what would make sense for you to have to carry around with you while you're down here. Because you're in, you're in the underdog, you're in a dangerous place, you're actually in a very dangerous area. And if you've been traveling on your own, you would be prepared. So making sure that your character would be prepared for the situation you're in. But I, I think we got it all, all pretty much nailed down, unless there's something, like a special item you want for yourself that you could think of. Mm, is there a uh, thing of honey? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. You, you can have some honey if you want. That's fine. Honey. You can have a jar of honey. Jar of honey, yeah. Let's just put that for uh, treasures or inventory uh, yeah, notes. It's in your inventory. Yeah, a jar of honey. Weighs one pound. My crack. I sniff it, or I just. Ah. <laughs> well, you you just oh, you eat it. You don't you don't sniff at this. Don't tell me what to do with my honey, man. Okay, you know it's your life. I won't tell you. Okay, now let's go back to your class because I don't think we've uh, put actually put in your fighter level. Look for fighter and put no. that up to four. Okay, because, well, we needed that because with your weapons, you see now that your two hit has gone up to six. Before it was mm -hmm. a four because it wasn't adding any proficiency bonuses to it. Mm -hmm. um, and your hit dice, yeah, let's put that up to four. You have four hit dice right now. Everybody starts off with inspiration. And I think we're done. Yay! Now it's just up to me to figure out 
how your character is, where he, how he got there. I need to try to make this make sense. Are you in a cave or something like that? You guys are in the Underdark. You haven't gotten out of the Underdark yet. So we're it's still underground, right? Mm -hmm. Or Underdark? Uh, hibernation, dude. I just uh, went in there and hibernated. Uh, you want to be hibernating? No, you don't go into under the uh, Underdark to hibernate. That's... Uh... No, it's, it's not a cave. It's like a... It's like going to a different country. A different country with very bad, evil things. Oh. Uh, and I need you awake for this fight. But, uh... I'm okay. Yeah, so far, like, okay. every time somebody had a character die and come back, like, I've always had, like, you know, they were their adventure in for a very specific reason. Uh-huh. So I need to figure out, like, what good reason will make sense for you to be there. Well, okay. I'll, I'll let you figure that one out, and, uh... When I'm ready, I will jump on. Oh, when you need me ready. Oh, speed. Uh, the the do we have a speed on this? Uh, yeah, you get your speed is thirty. Thirty. I, I entered it for you. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay. All right. So, HP. Uh, temp HP or. You do not have temp HP right now. Okay. Yeah, when you use your fight and spirit ability, then you get temp HP. Uh, yeah, I think we got everything down. Melee, blah, blah, blah. Yep, you should be good. Um, Yay. we are playing Sunday. If you can, like, if you can make it, or if you can't make it, just, like, let me know in advance. Yeah, I will. Okay, cool. It, 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 it looks like I'm, uh, uh, like, if I'm going to try and talk out of going out, but, well, I'll let you know. Yeah, it's, a. Uh... Yeah, whatever happens, let me know. We'll set things up. I'm sure everybody's going to be glad to have you around. Especially since they currently have one tank. But that one tank keeps almost dying. Mm. Cranky. No, well, he's already dead. Like, Sushi no. is currently th their tank. But uh, they're not properly backing her up. And she's the only one that can tank. So she definitely needs help. I'll try to help. Okay. So thank you so much, Starkin, for, sh for showing up tonight. No problem. Um, Slenderface needs to get better. Stop telling me what to do. And tomorrow I'm going back to playing Dark Souls 2. So hope you guys uh, catch me there. I would host somebody, but currently I'm the only one viewing. So that's yeah, no point. So thanks, Star King. Later. All right, you guys have a great night. Wait, oh wait, Star King. I hope you're watching the stream because um, I have a new outro. Mystic uh, Rin actually drew this for me, and I animated it. Hold on, let me get to it. Uh... Yeah, she's really excited to see it on the stream. So yeah, she, but she's not going to see it for a while. All right, I'm on there. I'm ready to see it. It's... Alright guys, well, hope you all enjoy it. Till next time, later.